What's going on guys? I've got a 2010 Mazda 3 here and I'm using this car to point out to you the location of the important fuses for the headlights, the fog lights, your high beam fuse, your low beam fuse. I'm also going to show you the high beam and the low beam relay. So to start with we're going to check some fuses inside this cover here. Every car will have the meter fuse right here and if your car has the self-leveling headlights you'll want to check the fuse that's in this location right here. This particular car does not have the self-leveling headlights, so there's no fuse for us to check. Under the hood, this is where the high beam and low beam relay are, as well as some more fuses. We open this box by pushing in on this tab here and lifting up. The BTN2 fuse right here is important. If you've got the self-leveling headlight system, it provides power for that. It also provides power for the relays. There's also a room fuse, which is right here. Check the room fuse. And the rest of the fuses are for the lights. So we've checked these two. Your fog light fuse, there's actually two. This provides power for the fog light bulbs, and this provides power for the fog light relay. Your low beams, there's a driver side and a passenger side low beam fuse. So these two fuses are for the low beams. And your high beams receive power from this 20 amp fuse right here. These two low beam fuses, as well as this high beam fuse, only receive power when the relays are energized. This is the high beam relay right here, and this is your low beam relay. Basic troubleshooting, you can tap on the relays. You can also grab and wiggle them. Sometimes relays get stuck, and by grabbing them, wiggling them, or tapping them, you can see about getting them unstuck. Beyond that, what we can do is we can actually pop the relays out. And let's say your low beams are not working. You can swap the low beam relay with the high beam relay. And if after the swap, your low beams start working and your high beams stop working, then you know that the relay is probably the issue. Further troubleshooting, what we can do with the relays removed is we can directly send power to the bulbs. So here, high beam, if we, do, if we connect these two pins together, we will be directly sending power to the high beam circuit for the low beam, if we directly connect these two pins together, we'll be directly driving the low beam. So if you connect these pins together and your low beams don't come on, you may have an issue with the bulb itself or a connection inside the headlight assembly. So yeah, I hope this info was helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, any advice about troubleshooting the headlights on your Mazda 3.